relax and play. Um, so let me just share a little bit of information. Um, I tried playing Dark Souls. Uh, I liked it quite a bit, except for not having a clue where to go or what to do or what the story is or pretty much basically not having a clue at all. I really like the mechanics though, so um, recently I found out I could get Lords of the Fallen for my old Windborn gifts that I got when Windborn um, was discontinued by the developers. So I got, I traded it yesterday, so I started playing uh, late at night yesterday, I got weekend early this week. so. Um, I finished the tutorial, finished the first boss, it was a pretty cool fight, uh, it took me like 4 attempts. First half of the fight was easy, getting, getting him halfway down, then he changes his attack pattern, so it was, uh, it was a bit awkward. Uh, but finally I got him down, and last time I, pre uh, I probably learned the controls. A bit better. I'm using a controller for the first time in a game like this. Um, so I then continued. Uh, now I'm outside and I have to find this guy Caslow. Uh, I don't know where he is. I looked at a walkthrough to make sure that I hadn't passed him already because there were a lot of enemies between me and him so far. Um, so it was kind of confusing because how can an old wounded guy pass all these people that I have to kill? Or monsters actually. Uh, so yeah, that's basically where I'm at. I've saved at sure if you guys can see but I'm monitoring my uh, graphics card a little and the FPS at the top left uh, might give you some nice information about the optimization of this game so I'm streaming with OBS and my system is an FX8150 uh, OC at 4 gigahertz So, uh, it does really impact the performance of this game, I see now. I was running this at steady 60 FPS yesterday, and now it's dropped to 35. Uh, should be a biggie. Let's talk to her again. You again? Maybe you want to help oh, me out? Up you see, I'm... Looking for a dagger. Poor craftsmanship, simple, rusty. Seen it by any chance? I thought you were looking for the pathway. Why go after a worthless dagger? It's an heirloom. It means a lot to me. With the help of my book of lineage, it can point me directly to the pathway. Does it sound like your business? No. Back off. If I've seen it, what profits me to tell you? Because, you overgrown turnip, I know a lot of things about this place. Things that you might find useful. This place, this monastery we're standing in, it's been built to seal off something. And I have a key to a secret entrance to its catacombs. Do I strike you as a man who cares? You look like my mother's worst nightmare. Deep mouth, little girl. This little girl will break your neck. I am Yetka, 
and I'm no one's little girl. Everything is about experience. I'm just gonna go kill them again. Yeah, there's one in the doorway over there. I thought there were more here. Uh, oh yeah, the guy is in there. There's a fast guy right around the corner here. So I'm gonna go in here. Borders, but it was a bit of a thingy here. Uh, 
part of an uh, bit of a tutorial thing. Done. Here's more. So these guys are really stupid. You can just Yesterday, when I came here first, I actually killed them one by one. Just hit one and then walked back and got the other one too. To, to stay there. I'm gonna try and do it again. I have, um, it's not being used to use a controller. I have a hard time. It seems they're blind or something, I don't know. They're hideous. for this and it's pretty good but I do feel like the touchpad isn't a nice 
alternative for an analog stick when using a you know, when controlling a camera because an analog stick has some kind of feel to it and now it's just a touchpad so it feels more like a mouse less like an analog stick luckily in this game it functions pretty well oh this this is kind of odd I'm trying to lock on to the guy now but I can't because there's this railing in front of it so it won't let me target him I need to go here and go like this holy crap that fucking lost enough to know what sealed runes are. <laughs> um, they seem like things you can equip or something. But you, you use them to unlock certain chests, locked chests, but uh, here's a guy on the floor. He's gonna come to life as soon as I get near him. You can't target him yet. You can barely attack him while he's on the ground and getting up. It's a bit strange, but okay. So just like with souls, if you know where the enemies are, you know how they work, they become easier and easier, but if you fuck up on your movement or tactics, you'll still die. Oh yeah, this is this is funny. There's this guy here and he's standing the other way because this is actually a shortcut uh, to skip a whole bunch of mobs. You walk past it really easily. But when I first came here, I came here this way and I could just like sneak up behind him. Go like that. Some decent experience. The multiplier is already 1.3. Mind you, you start out at one, so you can't uh, spend your experience if you want to keep your multiplier, basically. So, this is how far I came yesterday, and now we're gonna continue. So this is all new for me, as of here. Let's see what's down here then. Thank you. 
close. <laughs> okay, so another difference between Dark Souls and this one. You see I'm out of health potions now, so I could continue, but... I really want my potions when I'm going to new areas. So, I'm doing this. Experience bonus modifier has been reset, so that means I can just as well... Bank some experience. I'm gonna go for a new spell point. And use that to get mimic. Bang. Okay, so I still have 805 left, so I can use that for one more attribute point. Sounds like a good investment. <laughs> yeah. So let's go. Going back down. So the enemies don't reset when saving. Uh, or at least, oh, see, they don't. So I can just walk around now. Like, that guy that just... Uh, that just attacked... Was actually supposed to... Come at me through the wall here. When I was just walking there, but... He didn't. So that's why he just joined the fight. Medium chest armor, magic resistance to know what this is all about. <laughs> okay, so there's the stairs down here. Let's just carefully, carefully. It's getting dark. Okay. <gasps> Oof, what is that? That's a big spider. I don't really like spiders with you. So 
Oh, they have different attack patterns, as you can see. Holy fuck! It just hit me through my... There's a timer now saying that See that coming at all. Gonna run this way and just get my potion. Let's see if I can get back there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> oh. 
Ah, oh, that spider's a bitch. <laughs>
Eric. So you have a bit of a problem with the camera. Well, at least I got it. <laughs> that means I get to try again. <laughs> Fuck it.
parts out. Okay, so I've heard some complaints about the ranged thingy, because well, the ranged weapon isn't particularly particularly good, and uh, people don't like the fact that switching offhand means switching to the ranged weapon, the gauntlet as it's called, instead of just switching between shield and two-handing your main weapon. Since I'm not too experienced with souls and not too experienced with this game, I'm just mainly sticking to uh, what I know, and that is uh, all right. I need to drop out there, and that is um, using my shield for safety.
quest item? Fires on the horizon have burnt out, and all encompassing silence has fallen. Maybe the Rogar have retreated. I hope the villagers can return to their home soon. So, I've read somewhere that it's possible to complete this game without getting your multiplier up. And obviously, you get way more powerful if you do actually use the multiplier. It, oh! Guys, all room, not fun, not fun at all. Uh, it's time to use my mimic, I think. Oh, oh!
this one is 21121. And this one's 21111. <laughs> the defense is worse, the weight is worse. What the fuck? Six zero zero one zero. This is one eight one one one. Nice. Uh, it is a bit heavier, but hey. Okay, so I think I think it's probably the entire area now. Simple, rusty. Seen it by any chance? I might have found what belongs to you. You found it. Its engraving will point me toward the pathway. As soon as I can decipher it. Since I've no need to look in the catacombs anymore. You can have this key. I must go. Suit yourself.
not such a relief now that I'm the Battle of the Spider again. <laughs> God. Alive, the one with the open cell door. I need to go. Uh, uh, only 
one of us can make it out alive. The one with the open cell door. So, it's either this guy... Yeah. Uh -huh.